Hi folks, my name is Moss for YouTube channel Logmaker360. I'm building a playlist about Arduino fundamentals. In the previous uh, 10 videos we talked about the software side and uh, I covered all those subjects and that must be enough to write a solid sketch. And from here we move to the hardware side and in this video I will talk a little bit about libraries. And in the upcoming videos we will cover uh, subjects like buttons, memory and how to connect sensors to the Arduino with uh, bus protocols like one wire, I square C and so on. Libraries are code files with functions in it. Somebody write a bunch of handy functions and put those in our library. And all what you have to do to access those handy functions is to include the library in your sketch and call the functions. Importing a library inside the Arduino EDA is very easy. You go to sketch, include libraries and there is a library manager in there. If you click on this then it's connecting with the internet. And then you have access to all the open source libraries which are uh, uploaded to the Arduino community. Let's say you are uh, looking for a library for a servo motor. Then you type servo and click more info and then you see over here there is an install button. And if you click on install then it will download the library and install it in, the, in your Arduino library folder. And the second way of uh, importing a library is if you find a library which is not in the Arduino community but written by somebody else and let's say you find it somewhere on a website and you download it then it, it will be in a zip file and then you go to sketch, include library and click on add zip library and find the library folder and click on it and in both cases it will extract the library inside your Arduino library folder and to find this folder you go to file preferences and you have a pad over here and this pad is from your uh, sketchbook location so if you write a sketch it will be uh, saved there by default and on this uh, same pad there will be a folder called library and if you open that folder you'll see all the libraries who are installed on your computer and as you probably remembered in the previous video we downloaded the timer one library and if we open this library you'll see that we have all kind of files over here the real library is inside those two files the C++ file timer one and the header file. So those two files are the library. And the, the very best way to find out which functions are inside a library is to watch on the Arduino website. And if you search for the library, you easily find it. If it is inside the, the Arduino community. And down here you see all the functions you can call inside the library and they also give you a little uh, description where the function is for and what it does. And the second best way to find the functions is to open the C++ and the header file and for this you need a C compiler and the one I use is CodeBlocks. So you can open it if you have a compiler, just double click on it. CodeBlocks is a, a free compiler. And as you see over here, I open the timer1 C++ file and the timer1 header file. And we are in the header file on the moment. And if you scroll down, we see functions here. They are a little bit hidden. Another one is this one and, and that's how you can uh, find functions and uh, back on top in the header file there is a data type 
called class timer one and inside uh, C++ with the keyword class you can build your own data type and in this case they built a data type called timer one and they attached to the data type the functions so if we go to the C++ file then you will see up here that they made the data type timer1 and they call it timer1 it's uh, almost the same as we we, are, we sometimes do like int pin is 5 and it's uh, like timer1 is the data type like int is the data type for pin so this is the name of the data type timer1 and this is very important to understand because in C++ if we call our function we first write down the name of the data type in this case it's timer1 and then we use the point and then we can call the function something like this and we will see this in the Arduino EDA so this is uh, the sketch from my previous video about uh, timer interrupts and we include a library called timer1 and you see over here we call our instance of the class so our instance of the data type timer1 as we saw in the library and then a dot and then we call the function a library function so if you work with a library you have to find the data type so the class and the, the name of the data type and you have to find the built-in functions and if you know the functions then you can use the library to do all kind of cool things with it we do the same thing up here with the serial monitor we uh, call our instance of the class serial and we call the function begin and this is our built-in library so you don't have to include it it is uh, included by default by the uh, Arduino EDA you can modify libraries or you can write your own functions in there and a few months ago I made a video about this and I will place a link of this uh, video up here or if you watch this video from a mobile device I will uh, put a link in the description of the video uh, this is the end of the video uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos about the Arduino fundamentals take a look on my uh, YouTube channel Logmaker360 and thanks for watching